Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a home wear haul, which I've actually never filmed before, and I'm so excited to bring you it because it is all of the stuff I have bought for moving to university. If you guys didn't know, I am actually moving to Leeds in September, so like a month from now, and I've had to restrain myself from buying all of this stuff earlier, but I figured now that results day is pretty much here, it's time to buy all of my stuff for university. So this video is actually in a partnership with Shop Tagger, who I have actually worked with before and they are all about like shopping smart and saving you money uh, wherever you can basically when you are online shopping which I think is so important because obviously now as I'm a student I'm going to be pretty poor and any way to save myself money especially on homeware stuff is so important because I want to do it as cheap as possible I want to do this on a budget so it's so easy to do all you have to do is download the Chrome extension to your browser and whenever you're shopping you just tap the little logo at the top and it puts it in your basket on shop tagger and then when the item is reduced or back in stock or on sale it gives you a notification to let you know so say for example if you've had your eye on a couple of bits and bobs but you're like oh it's just ever so slightly out of my price range this sets a notification and tells you when it's reduced which I think is such a good idea it is very straightforward I have spoke about it before however that was for a clothing haul and obviously you can use this tool on homeware websites as well so I thought I would just let you know it is super easy to look through all of your saved items be it in your wish list or your fulfilled items it's really simple so I had been online shopping as well as in real life shopping for a lot of items for university and obviously I was trying to do it on a budget. So some of these bits and bobs are from online, some of them are from when I went shopping in real life and I tried to do it as cheap as possible. It was a bit of a challenge because I have quite expensive taste, unless it's Primark, because we all love Primark. So I shopped in places like Asda, Primark, New Look, Matalan, Next Home, all of the places that are on a retail park, pretty generic, pretty affordable and I thought yeah I'm gonna online shop and I'm gonna see what I can get for the least amount of money as possible. Without further ado, let's get this video started. I actually did a vlog style video while I went shopping, so I'm gonna insert all of that footage now. So we have just arrived now, and I think the first shop that we're actually gonna head into is next, just because that is the one we've parked outside. Um, and we're also obviously gonna be going into Asda and into Maslan. I have ordered some things as well, so you guys will be able to see those. And basically the haul is gonna be quite big, I think, but obviously I don't really know what I'm gonna buy yet. Um, we're looking for sale items, cheaper items, obviously going to university, it's a budget. So we're gonna start off with next, and let's see what we get. So we're looking at incense, because I can't actually have candles like to burn in my room, I don't think obviously with it being like a lettered flat it's not mine so I can't like start a fire or anything so we finished up in next I've got two things you're gonna have to wait and see thank you so now we're in Matalan I love Matalan homeware I've already looked I've already looked online at what Matalan have in stock as you guys would have seen when I was looking on the website and oh my god they've got some beautiful stuff grey pink the colour themes I'm going for all right choosing cutlery is so hard like not cutlery, like it's stuff you eat from. What is it even called? Bowls, plates. So irrelevant to the home wall haul, but look at some of these phones in Asda. Like, who remembers these? Oh my god, twenty-five pounds. I'm tempted to buy one just to play snake on it. We love a clock. Okay, let's just get the cheapest. Mum, we're on a budget. Oh yeah. No, that looks so old-fashioned. <laughs> We are now back in the car. Two and a half hours later, we also stopped really? for some lunch. Pretty much, yeah, we got here at half past 12. It's now 10 past three. I need to go home and film the rest of this video. So that is my plan. I don't have that long. We're gonna go. Thank you for coming with me. It's all right, I need to go do some washing now. Yeah, we literally got back from holiday yesterday. Also, yeah, you can see morning. some of the stuff. Actually, yeah, it was like 12 hours ago. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drive home. Right, you guys aren't even ready for this haul. Look at my bedroom floor. Are you ready? because I'm about to get started. Okay, so I'm now back home and I'm gonna haul everything that I bought for you and that I actually ordered online to arrive for this haul. So it's like a combination. I've done some shopping, I've done some online shopping. So I thought I would show you and I'm gonna start out with the first place that we actually went to was Next, which I know is not the most affordable homeware place. It's definitely not the most expensive, but it isn't the cheapest. And I thought, I'm gonna have a look in here anyway. They might have a sale on. And I've been looking online. I've been browsing online for the last month, thinking about how I want to have my room. I'm so excited to decorate it and I've been planning it for a while. So I've been looking online, looking at where has sales and where it doesn't. And Next sometimes have 
like random sales. So I thought, right, I might as well go and have a look. And I didn't get very much in there, but I did get two things and I really like them both. So the first thing I got was this little cactus, which is gonna be my roommate. Um, and we've called him Christopher. So you guys are gonna have to remind me to water him when I go to university. But this was five pounds, so it is quite expensive, but I do really like the pot. So um, yeah, I think it's worth it. Now, the only other thing I got in next was this cushion, which was not that cheap everything else was really affordable and done definitely on a budget this was 16 pounds so it's a little bit more pricey for a cushion but i knew that i wanted to go for gray and baby pink and this was the only cushion i saw for the whole of today when i was out shopping that had both of the colors in it and i think it's gorgeous it's geometric if you know me in real life you will know i'm obsessed with cushions i have so many cushions in my bedroom like there's some of them behind me but i have so many more on the floor that i take off the bed to film videos and stuff so this was from next and it was 16 pounds and again all available online as well so really handy if you're interested in buying this now on the same theme as cushions i actually went to primark a couple of weeks ago and i didn't plan to buy this but i did i also got this pink fluffy cushion because like i said i'm going for a pink and gray theme and this is very cute this was four pounds and it's very soft absolutely perfect and it matches my bedding that i've bought perfectly which i will show you in a minute so the next things that i have are actually from matalan now i ordered these online and i used shop tag to tell me when they were on sale which was great because it actually meant i did get a discount for one of these which was so good um so the first thing is this it's so simple it's literally like um, a basket basically a baby pink basket and i've got this because i really don't know what storage space is going to be like in my flat i don't know how many like drawers i've got i don't really know much about it i haven't even seen it i know that's really stupid of me to like put a deposit down in a house I haven't seen but I have seen pictures of it um and I I've seen halls of residence before I've been to halls of residence I know what they look like um and I just haven't had a chance to go and visit it yet I am gonna go and visit it before I move in but I don't know what the storage situation is like so I thought I'll start off with one maybe for like underwear socks something like that um and if I need more then this was five pounds so I can just buy another one they also did it in grey and yeah I ordered this from Matalan but the main thing that I ordered from Matalan and I was so glad I got this in the sale was this now this is huge um as you can see next to me this is like pretty big um and it is basically like a massive pin board but it's actually a little bit more exciting than a pin board because it has all of these strings and you just connect like little hooks what do you call these like paper clipper things what is the name for that and you can put your pictures on it and i thought that was a really good idea because obviously I'm gonna wanna put like pictures up in my room, but I can't nail things to the wall, obviously with the flat being like rented and it's not mine, I can't like put stuff on the walls, which I expected. But the good thing about this is that I don't even need to command hook it, I'm just gonna stand it on my desk, like rest it against the wall, kind of like that. So I thought this was perfect, and this was £12, reduced to £7, which I got in the sale, which I thought was pretty good, because £7 for this, when it is really big, like that's quite cheap really. I don't think I would have got one cheaper than that anywhere. So the next place that I went to was TK Maxx. Now I had had my eye on some of these things online. As you guys know, I've been using ShopTagger to track when things are on sale or out of stock. And TK Maxx is so hard to gauge whether or not there's gonna be things in stock, whether they're gonna be in your local TK Maxx because it's one of those shops where you just can't guarantee it. So I had been looking and luckily two of the items I'd seen online were in store on sale. So I bought them and then the third one was just on a whim. So the first one, pretty generic, but I really like it, is this door hook. Now I think this will be perfect for the back of my door, either into my bedroom or into my bathroom. I do have an ensuite room, so I kind of wanted a place to hang like my dressing gown, maybe like towels or coats, I'm not really too sure, but it's really good because it hangs on the door. You don't have to nail it to anything. Um, basically, I was trying to avoid screwing anything to any walls or like nailing things into places. Just I trying to avoid that i think this is pretty perfect and it's also really pretty so this was five pounds rose gold matches my lamp over here which is just out of shop which i'm going to be taking with me so yeah coordination next from tk maxx is what i had been looking at online my local tk maxx never has makeup storage literally never and luckily they had this in which was five pounds and the reason i bought another one you're probably thinking molly you have so much makeup storage you would be correct however i don't want to take everything off my desk 
desk because I'm only moving out for a year I don't really want to disrupt my bedroom that much like I don't want to have to put everything back so I thought I'll just leave most of my makeup storage and take the actual makeup because it's all like on my desk nicely it's really small simple I don't plan on taking my full makeup collection to university with me to be honest I only wear the same five or six items of makeup anyway so I thought this was perfect and this was five pounds it's acrylic I mapped it everything and then the last thing I got from TK Maxx I'm so surprised I've only bought one of these this was such a good bargain guys like I couldn't really not get this I'm so obsessed with hot drinks I'm so obsessed with mug and if you know anything about me I'm so obsessed with Starbucks so they had this really nice tall glass mug it's like ceramic I don't know if you can see it can you see that yeah there you go it's got the Starbucks logo like engraved in it and as you can see that was 2 99 literally 2 99 the sign next to them said five pounds and then the sticker on them said 2 99 this is what I've been looking at online because I did consider buying the full set because they had loads of different size ones and then I thought there's literally only one of me I can only drink one hot drink at a time I don't need a full set of mugs it's unhealthy I don't even have my own kitchen but I have about 20 mugs so that was all from TK Maxx the main money spending occurred today in Asda um, which I had expected it's so easy to spend a lot of money when you're picking up little bits and actually I was very surprised when I got to the till that everything I'd bought that everything I'd bought in Asda only came to 58 pounds like I have got so much stuff so we're gonna get onto the Asda part. I'd ordered some of these things online. I'd been tracking them while I was away on holiday. I thought, oh, I'll see if they reduce in price, see if they've got any offers on, because obviously I want to do this as cheap as possible. I am a student now. I am gonna be poor, and that is okay. I have accepted that. So here is what I got. I'm gonna try and go through it quite quick, because there's a lot. So the first thing was my new bedding, and it's just this pink geometric kind of pattern. Um, but the reason I loved this one so much was that it is reversible, and when you reverse it, it's grey, it's like this colour um, and also geometric so I've gone for a pink and grey theme and I think that this is pretty much perfect. This was £12 for a double bed, like that is really cheap, I don't think you're going to get a bed in much cheaper than that. And it is from Asda so the quality is not going to be amazing but I'm going to university, I'm not expecting it to be like a five star hotel. Okay, so then for my room I actually also got a diffuser, so this was again from Asda, £3. Like this does the job, it is soft cotton scented reed diffuser and it lasts eight weeks so that is going to be looking cute on a shelf and hopefully making my room smell nice i mean i'm really hoping the room doesn't smell but sometimes when you move into a place that's been left standing like all summer it might smell a bit like fusty so hopefully this will um stop that so the next thing i can't believe i'm turning into such an adult youtube channel why am i hauling this cutlery <laughs> i love cutlery it's great i got way too excited about the fact that this set was £2.50 from Asda, like literally £2.50. I had looked online for this and I was like, oh, they're all about £6. That is so much for like a knife and fork. I don't need a set, I just need one. Like full set for £2.50 in store, so thanks Asda. Also quite boring, I got two glasses. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like these that much. I just got them because they were 50p and pink, so they match my theme. Yeah, there's literally nothing else I can say about these. They are two glasses, so. Possibly the most boring item in the whole haul, Got a chopping board because don't want to get contaminated food poisoning. Don't really plan on doing that much cooking, but you know, in case I need to cook something, £1.50, absolute bargain. So the next thing is two pillows. Two pillows for three pounds. I really do not have high expectations for these, but the plan is I'm gonna take the actual two pillows off my bed, like the front ones off my bed here, because they're really comfy. Take those with me and then have these two as the back two. So I'll have like four pillows on my bed, because like I've got four now and I kind of want the bed to be the same. Um, so I thought rather than taking all of my pillows with me, um, I'll buy two more. That way, when I come home and visit my mum and dad or Tom, I've still got pillows on my bed at home. Three pounds in Asda if you're looking for pillows. Absolute bargain. On to the last bag. So the next thing I got was a digital clock. Now, I actually completely didn't think about this, but I've got a digital clock down here that I've had since I was like three, probably not three, a bit older than three, but a child basically. I've always had this this clock but then I thought well I don't want to take the clock with me because then when I come home which I'm planning on doing quite often I won't have a clock in my room so I just bought the same one again this was six pounds and it's a radio as well so I thought that was pretty decent fairly unexciting is this pink bed sheet this matches the bedding perfectly it's the same shade of pink was six pounds and it fits a double bed so yeah really handy the bed I actually have at university is a small double bed which is the same as this one like this is not a full-size double bed however they don't make bed sheets for that so I just had to get a double 
comfortable. The next thing, when did I turn into such a mum? I'm literally sat here getting excited about tea towels. Like, when did this happen? Wow. <laughs> so I got these tea towels for three pounds, five for three pounds. I thought that was really good. The thing that took the most choice was my plates and my bowls. I spent so long looking at different ones because I thought, I don't know what I want. Do I want patterned ones? I don't know how many to buy. Should I buy four of each? What is the point in that? There's only one in me. So I went for this really nice, like black on the outside, white on the inside, easy, generic pattern. So I got this bowl, which I thought would be good for like cereal. Then I got this bigger bowl, which I thought would be good for like pasta which is going to be an essential meal of mine. It already is my day-to-day -day diet, so I can't really not have pasta. Then I got this little plate for like breakfast or lunch, just like not a main meal, just like, you know, a generic small plate. And then lastly, I got this bigger plate, which is just one that you would eat your main meal off. And I thought I don't really need more than one because there's only one of me. And then lastly, I actually ordered this one off the website because I was kind of scared that my local Asda wouldn't have any kitchen appliances in. Really didn't need to worry. They had so many, but I don't really go to Asda very often and I, I like didn't really know what they had. So I ordered it online and I got this kettle, which was actually reduced because managed to get it in the sale. Thought it was a bit of a bargain, to be honest. It was 12 pounds and it is so generic and simple. But my thinking is, even if somebody else in my flat is bringing a kettle with them, which I kind of imagine they will be because a lot of them are going into second year so they'll have their own stuff. I thought even if they're doing that, I can have my kettle in my room because I like cups of tea and coffee a lot. So yeah, 12 pounds, black kettle, like it is what it is, isn't it? So yeah, that is actually everything in my haul. I hope you have enjoyed this video. It was so much fun going and buying all of this stuff. I went with my mum and we spent most of the afternoon like shopping and finding all of these bits and seeing how cheap we could do it. I think I spent about 90 pounds in total, which to be honest, I've kitted out my full room. The only things I need to take now are like other bits from my actual bedroom. I don't need to buy anything new which I think is quite good I've got a lot of kitchen stuff as well so I really recommend you guys checking out shop tagger if you're trying to shop on a budget for it be, be it for clothes homeware university bits and bobs anything so many websites allow you to add the extension to your browser and then it notifies you when the item is either back in stock or on sale which I think is so helpful if you are a student living on a budget like I am about to become so yeah I really recommend checking it out all of the information is down in the description below thank you Thank you so much to shop tagger for working with me on this video allowing me to get some discounted items and yeah i hope you have enjoyed it if you have do be sure to smash the thumbs up subscribe down below if you're new because i will be back with a results day video this week and also uh moving vlogs very soon if you're excited for me to go to university those vlogs will be coming in the next month so yeah subscribe if you're new around here and i will be back very soon bye